Here we are at Southeast Game Exchange 2023. My favorite game convention of all time, and this year is absolutely insane. The vendor booths all over the place, and we're gonna explore this convention and see how much cool shit we can find and buy. Now, it doesn't have the mechanism in it anymore that you insert the coin into, but the interesting thing about this, the gentleman was telling me, is that this is not an officially licensed ride. This is a bootleg ride that another, a company made, and Nintendo sued the shit out of them and ordered them to destroy all the units. So he was telling me that this is potentially the last one in existence, potentially. So, super rare, not officially licensed. Also, they don't, for the ride, they don't actually refer to this as Mario. They refer to him as Italian plumber. So there you go. Never seen this before. He said people have been making offers on it, and it's up to like 2100 right now. So I don't think I'm going to be leaving with this today. So this booth we were just at with all the cool stuff, like the Mario Kart here. I got this bag full of vintage McDonald's Happy Meal toys here. I got this little Donkey Kong McDonald's toy here. This electronic Uno handheld game in the box. And I don't even fully know what all is in this bag. I saw a picture of a GameCube. I see Crash Bandicoot. I see Sonic. I don't even know what's in here, but I got this and all this for $10. Look at this. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Players. Look at this, Castlevania Symphony of the Night Player's Guide. Look at how beautiful that is right there. Official Nintendo seal of quality. We got Mario from Super Mario Bros. 2 pulling the turnip up. This would make an amazing uh, piece to put up on the wall as some wall art, so that's really cool. This vintage 1990 display for NES games and OG Game Boy games. We got Dr. Mario on here, all three Mario games, Super Mario Land. Donkey Kong Country. Dude. I mean, that's, Dude. that's just crazy. Take a look at this beautiful board game. This is Donkey Kong Country, Hog Pitching Game. This is a very, very rare board game. Officially Nintendo licensed product, Pog. It's, I, I don't really know how the game works, but it's unpunched. It's in fantastic condition. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what that was. If you don't mind, tell me where you uh, where you got this from. I actually found it on Mercari, and there was a woman selling it. She had it priced, but she wasn't sure of the value either, so I was able to negotiate a little bit with her. On oh, it. wow! So you got a fantastic deal on that. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. So we worked out a deal, uh, partial trade. She got some Nintendo powers, and then I paid the uh, the rest to her in cash. And this is now permanently going into collection. So we got the Donkey Kong 64 Nintendo 64 controller, which is a rare controller, 350 bucks. But here's something I've never seen before. Look at this. This is a Donkey Kong 64 N64 controller skin that's made to look like a banana bunch. $250. That is absolutely wild. This is a freaking vintage G.I. Joe, like, you know, like party pack. It's full of napkins. It's got a tablecloth in it, and it's got little paper plates in it. Dude, how freaking cool is that, man? That's super cool. And this is from 1988, the year I was born. So this is as old as I am, and I'm pretty damn old. And my grandmother. I bought two games. Okay. So um, the first one I got, uh, Turok, uh, on the Nintendo Switch. This is something my dad, brother, and I used to play as kids. Yeah. 
And then Matt, you recommended this one to me. Um, it's called Raji. Um, it's from Premium Edition Games. I actually bought like four or five games from them this weekend. Uh, but you said it's like God of War, but uh, with think, like Hindu culture. I so. think so. Yeah, yeah. Something it, like that. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it looks awesome. Yeah, it uh, does. Regardless, it's a beautiful cover. So yep. that's what I got, man. Oh, check this out, dude. This is a Krusty the Clown 3D magnetic bottle opener from 2005. Uh, let's see. I don't know. How much is the stuff down here in the tote? Two bucks? You know what? I'm going to buy this for Jared from Retro Gaming Pandemic to Pandemic because he collects chips and stuff. We got another Krusty the Crab. I said Krusty the Crab. Krusty the Clown. A bendable toy here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to grab both of these. Why not? Would you do both of these for three bucks cash? Yeah. You the man. Jerry. Yes. So I was browsing uh, under the booth at a booth. I was browsing, checking out what's for sale under the table, right? Okay. And I saw a couple little things. And this was in your inventory. No, no, no. This was. Oh, 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 okay, okay. And I found a couple of things that I wanted to grab for you because they were pretty cheap. And I'm hoping you don't have these, but we'll see. First thing is. A bendable Krusty the Clown keychain. I do not have a bendable Krusty the Clown keychain. I do have a Homer and a Bart. Well, now you have a Krusty the Clown. Dude, freaking awesome, bro. Thanks, Matt. But wait, there's more. A Krusty the Crab 3D magnetic bottle opener. Dude. Krusty the Clown, not Krusty the Crab. Dude, I was doing that yesterday, too. I kept saying Krusty the Crab, bro. What the hell is that? Deadly bets. Dude, if that doesn't screen VHS Voyage, I don't know what does. And that's a screening copy. That's, oh yeah, look at that. That is definitely VHS Voyage. And by the way, those of you watching, if you don't know, we got a second channel, youtube.com slash VHS Voyage. You guys got to check it out if you haven't already. Okay, so yeah, I think we're going to grab these three here. Dead Ringers, The Unborn, and Deadly Bets. <laughs> Tiger Electronic handhelds, and I saw this Mortal Kombat Tiger handheld, which I do not have, and this is one that I pretty much never seen. It has the battery cover, it's in decent shape, and uh, I'm going to be able to get this. So the sticker price is 45. I'm going to be able to get it for 30, which is a fantastic deal on this. So first of all, I got a strategy guide for one of my favorite game for games. Yeah. Which is try not to ruin it. With you. Star Fox Adventures, this is the Nintendo Power official guide. So we got the official guide to Star Fox Adventures. Very nice, very nice. And he put it in a cool DS bag, a DS Lite bag. Oh, sweet. But when I went to this guy's booth, he yeah. actually noticed my shirt. Thought the shirt was awesome. Okay. I told him about the channel and how it was all GameCube. And he's like, you know what? I got something else for you to take. So yeah. he actually gave me this sweet GameCube era bag. Dude, look at that. That is beautiful, man. I love that. Okay, so I'm looking at some of the stuff in this booth, and I see this little tub that says figures, two for five bucks. And I'm looking in this tub, and I see two of the freaking old school McDonald's Mario toys. We got the Mario, and then we got the Koopa, the Flying Koopa Troopa from 1989. So I can get both of these guys for five bucks. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it, because anytime I can find these for cheap, I snag them up because I love that that McDonald's release from 89 and I don't have all of them yet. I do have these two, but you know what? It doesn't hurt to have some extras. So what's the history behind this guy? Right, so they did a live show with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 93 or something like that. So they actually went on stage with costumes and everything like that. They had a musical. They did all, all kinds of things. They had songs and everything. So this is the uh, like basically the album for that live show. Dude, that's awesome. It's pretty cool. That is awesome. What I'm here for is to buy this really freaking sweet vintage baby tunes temporary tattoos for the legend of zelda from 1992 still sealed up in the packaging of course that's going to stay in the packaging I'm not going to put this or should i put these tattoos on me try yeah if i do i'm definitely going to put it on my ass 
All right, so I'm about to make what will probably be my last purchase at Southeast Game Exchange 2023, but it's going to be my biggest purchase of the convention. And I'll be honest, this is not something I was expecting to walk away with. Now you guys know I've got the Star Fox Adventures bobblehead, and I've got the Mario holding the GameCube bobblehead, right? Both rare, both expensive, but the rarest one in that entire line is the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker bobblehead. Look at that, he's standing on a platinum GameCube. But they got the sticker price at 120 bucks. They said they would sell it to me for $100 cash. And let me tell you something, for this bobblehead, that is a steal because I've seen this guy on eBay for over 200 bucks. So that is a fantastic deal. And I am adding this to the collection and it's in relatively good shape too. It's in pretty good condition. So, is it a single dango yeah. bread? Is it single dango bread? Single dango, 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 single dango